It's been a busy summer here with riding sessions and camps. And the horses worked incredibly hard to keep up, stay calm and be comforting. They got many hugs and kisses in return and once in a while a concert too. Buttercup was kept busy as well and he made sure he got his fair share of feed to keep him going. He is truly part of the herd now and when I'm gone for the day I usually find him like this when I come back. The guinea pigs and rabbits enjoyed the special attention they got from some visitors, even if that meant being expected to negotiate a maze of cardboard boxes to get the treat. They come with me on my hospital visits too, especially Carrot loves his cuddle time. Go to sleep. Back home, they all dig into their daily ration of veg. Nothing tastier for these lot than crispy lettuce. And then, at the end of August, all children's camps and groups and all the summer sessions came to an end. And all of a sudden, the place got quiet and the swing just swung on its own in the late summer breeze. Without the children's laughter, it makes me sad standing here, as it has become very evident that our wonderful ash tree, which holds up the swing like so many of our other trees, has ash dieback disease, a fungus which will eventually kill it. The canopy is already thinning and the tips of the branches are dying. Hard to imagine this spot without it. The donkeys are great to clear up after the horses have been on the field. They have a more versatile appetite and handily eat what the horses don't. Same with the sheep, who are on lawn duty, but sometimes get too distracted by what's going on inside the kitchen. It is delightful to see the swallows raising a second clutch of eggs in the sheep stable. And the little swallow chicks are growing fast. It's a race against time because soon enough they will be setting off on their thousand mile journey south. They get to spend some time though in the yard after fledging strengthening their wing muscles during the day and resting safely during the night until Sandra comes in and turns the lights on for milking. The Sparrow family has grown too over the summer and finding the best branch for the night in our chestnut tree is a noisy affair these evenings. Keeping the horses fit can be so pleasant. We have such wonderful spots around here for riding. And all that fitting was for the goal in mind. Our annual agricultural show was a big day for Sky this year. She performed in her first ridden classes.
Johnny Buckley to ring four, please. We even earned ourselves a shiny rosette. She is such a good mare, rising to every challenge put in front of her so far, and enjoying it too. She is very young, and there is much to learn, but it was a good first experience for her. Little Wallace, Winnie's foal, is growing into a whopping youngster. He is full of energy and very sociable and keeps the whole herd entertained. The puppies! What delightful little things! Always up to something like sneaking into Buttercup's nighttime bed for a snooze. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Give me those. Give me those. <laughs> puppy. Puppy. Oh. They also sneaked into my full milking bucket a couple of times, licking a dry, of course. And ever since, they are keen spectators when I milk the sheep. Only that I guard my milking bucket much better these days. Turnip and Trudy are kept busy parenting them as best as they can. Especially Trudy takes great care to show them who is the boss and who is the youngster. And I feel I don't have to give out to them or train them as much because of her input. Dear Trudy, you are such a good mum. But soon it will be time to say goodbye to these little darlings. I shall miss them, but there is a loving new home waiting for them out there, and I wish them the very, very best. They deserve their very own family and all the love that comes with it. <laughs>